We have a lot of data on the tour today, and we know that the average tour player's hips are rotated 40 to 45 degrees. Here is my swing as an upper core player, and you are going to see I am nowhere near rotated 45 degrees. In the mid-90s, the model that was chosen for me by one of my teachers was David Toms. And so they wanted me to look like David Toms at Impact. There's David Toms. So I am nowhere near as rotated as David Toms is at Impact. And he's probably more than 45 degrees rotated at Impact. The swing that most people would consider the best swing on tour today is Adam Scott. Here's Adam Scott. Beautiful golf swing. Club right on plane. Club coming in. And there he is with that average hip rotation of about 40 to 45 degrees. The truth is not many of us can do it. Even though so many of our favorite players like a young Rory McIlroy, look at Rory at Impact. He's a mid-core player, but just look at him at Impact. And so if you have someone throwing a tour player up, like a David Toms or Rory or Tiger, and say, hey, we need to get your hips rotated more, like the average tour player, run. Because the truth is, two-thirds of all golfers are upper core. Here's another swing. Grant Waite, great guy, great teacher, had one of those swings everybody thought was the Adam Scott. Look at him at impact. Beautiful. I mean, there's your average tour player swing. But the truth is, two-thirds of us are upper core and trying to rotate our hips faster through the ball and lag the club more is not going to work. It's not going to make us hit the ball farther. It's not going to make us hit the ball straighter. Here's my sister Lori, two-time LPGA Tour winner. My brother Lee and I were kidded her whole life. She had the best swing in the family. She's just simply the mid-core swing that we all like the aesthetics of. But again, the truth is not many of us can have our hips rotated 40 to 45 degrees in impact. If you like Jordan Spieth's swing, look at him in impact. He's low core. His weight's in his left heel, and he's really rotated, staying down through the ball, not using hardly any verticals. That's a low core swing, even less. I've only measured 13 people out of 800 that have been low core. Here I am at impact. Look at me at impact. Standing up, jumping, using verticals. But I am not rotated. There is nothing wrong with that. So the truth is, none of us should try to rotate faster through the ball and lag the club more. Your rotations should be what they are. Whether your hips are hardly rotated like mine or really rotated like Jordan Spieth or rotated like an average tour player. But the truth is, the average tour player, the mid-core player, most of us are not going to be able to rotate our hips that much at impact. Here's a young mini tour player I worked with yesterday. Look at his hips. He's not rotated. Upper core. The lesson before him. Hips not rotated. Upper core. Here's another player. Hips not rotated. Upper core. All these players, if they try and rotate more through the ball, it's not going to make them hit the ball further and straighter. Here's another one of my students. Hips not rotated. Here's another one. Hips not rotated. Now you say all those people are older. Yeah, well here's a 16 year old. Hips not rotated. Upper core. Now here's someone, great player. Her hips are rotated. She's mid-core, but this is rare to see this. So I see these kind of positions all day long, and the truth is most of us are upper core. So at the end of the day, quit trying to lag and rotate. Let your rotations be your rotations. Learn how to swing this club with your arms, hands, and wrist. And get measured by Right Balance Fitter and find out if you are a mid, upper, or low core player. But most of us are upper core. For more information, Visit Larry Rinker.
www.thinkingmusicsradio.com.